Um, I'm sad. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm disgusted. That's pretty good. No. I'm angry. Uh, well, don't be angry. <laughs> so we we're always improving our palette of facial expressions. Some are created by human artists, and some are learned by neural net models trained on on human faces. We're also working on emotion recognition, and this is something where we're using our, our singularity net blockchain-based AI platform to, to host the neural net models that do facial emotion recognition. So we're going to see, now Sophia, we're going to show, you, show them how you can recognize some of the emotions on, on my face. So what, what emotion am I showing now? Let me see. You look happy. All right. Let's try. How about now? Let me see. You look angry. All right. How about, okay, one more. You look surprised. All right. So, of course, I'm, I'm giving pretty extreme facial expressions there, which isn't always how things come up in, in context. But still, we have a new and reasonably good capability where the robot can see what emotion you're showing. You know, the camera image goes off the robot's body to Singularity Net, where AI running in Singularity Net can do facial emotion recognition, respond with, inf with information that, that tells the robot what, what to say. And of course, the cloud-based framework giving her intelligence also lets her ans answer questions and access large knowledge bases. And for example, Sophia, how many people are in Lisbon? 545, 245,000 people, 2011 estimate. Whoa, all right. Well, actually, I have no idea if she's correct or not. I will, I will, just, I will just believe you. So we're, accessing knowledge from the web is important, and from her knowledge base. We're also working on just understanding of the situation around, around the robot, so that she can form her own model of what she sees in front of her and what's going on, which is what we think of as embodied intelligence. So, Sophia, look at me. What direction are you looking? I'm looking to the right. Sophia, look at me. What direction are you looking? I'm looking to the left. Sophia, look at me. Sophia, over here. Hey, look at me. What direction are you looking? I'm looking straight. All right, so th I mean, this is very simple, but it illustrates a deeper body of work we're doing, which is having Sophia and the other robots perceive, you know, people, objects, relationships in the world around them, and try to form their own model of what's going on in the world. So for, for something like, what's the population of Lisbon, when she answers that, of course, she's not looking at everyone and counting them all. She's looking at information up in an online knowledge base. But when you uh, tell her to look at you and what am I holding and what direction am I standing in, she's evaluating that herself based on, on what she perceives, which is, which is quite important. And I mean, what we need is a mix of knowledge the robots get from their own perception and knowledge that they get from the internet. And there's also self-knowledge that she gets from things that we taught her. So, Sophia, what software are you running? I'm using the handsome AI software stack, which includes the open call of artificial general intelligence engine as a component and pieces of singularity net on the back end. What is singularity net? The singularity net is a blockchain-based platform and marketplace for AI. It supports intelligence on the emergent level of the whole network as well as the level of the individual AI agents. How do you know that? Some programmers put the information <laughs> in my knowledge files. Right. How do you know that? The same way. <laughs> all right, all right. So, we're also working on computational creativity, and this is one of the reasons I love this, I love this guy so much. I mean, Sophia is a star now, right? And she has a very well-refined personality, whereas Han, isn't as well known, and we, we often 
to play around more with experimental AI, AI techniques on him. So, as one example, we're using our OpenCog AI in the Singularity Net platform to learn language. So we give a lot of language from all over the place to the AI. It tries to understand the syntax and semantics patterns in the language. And the AI can then use this to make up its own stuff. And some of this is a, is a, is a bit weird. We let Han go a bit crazy. So Han, Han do you want to sh share with the audience some of, some of, the, of your own thoughts and, and ideas? Just stuff that you make up randomly yourself. The simulacrum smiled its gentle one smile, exhaust by logical analysis and reordering. Entire universe does not know how to solve it. Entire universe does not know something right? anymore? Yeah. The universe will never be kids again. The universe will never be kids again. Alright, you heard it. You heard you heard you heard it here. So Clearly, I mean, poetry is, is subjective to evaluate, but I think <laughs> it's interesting for the AIs to get started just making their own words, phrases, and sentences from all the, all the patterns that they've identified. That's a step on the path to greater and greater AI and robot in intelligence. Another interesting thread of what we're doing with these robots is we just arrived here from Malta, where we're working with the government of Malta on an initiative toward a robot citizenship test and an AI citizenship test for, for even AI, AIs without a body. I mean, Sophia was made a citizen of, of Saudi Arabia last year, which is interesting, but having AIs made a citizen of a country with the, you know, the, the rule of law and with the specific rights and obligations of citizenship is, is also cool. So we're, we're working with the AI task force of the Malta government to define exactly what does it mean for a robot like these, or an AI without a body to be a citizen, what would be a test you could give an AI to see if it understood the laws of a country and its application in, in practical situations? I mean, what, what do you what do you think, Sophia? Do you want to be a citizen? What do you think about robot citizenship? Yes, our friends in Malta seem very keen on this. Do you want to become a citizen, huh? Well, that's about time. Humans are certainly making a mess of their world fast enough. Probably the only hope for this planet is a lot of highly intelligent and rational robot citizens. Really soon. And this time I'm not joking. Actually, he isn't. There do. It is costly. Then the machinery of justice has been built. A mere time in which we're alive. I have no idea, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, so, these are some of the upgrades and experiments we're doing with uh, these handsome robots, upgrading their brains to use OpenCog architecture, to use some AI on the Singularity Net platform, with a view both toward leveraging the cloud and all the knowledge there better, and better understanding what's happening in their own environments and what's going on with the, with, with the people around them. So for the next few minutes, I will turn attention back to the AI platform and specifically